All right, another quick look Sunday this week. And this week, uh, I was going through my list, so let's play DuckTales Remastered. Apparently, this is a very good game based on people's love of the original. And I have I've been like Mickey's space, like Castle Illusion, it's been sitting on my to do list for a while. So. Let us watch DuckTales. Watch me play. Alright, DuckTales. I never actually watched the original DuckTales. When I was a kid, we didn't have satellite or that, so... Disney Channel stuff was only ever on a Sunday for like an hour block. So Cuss I never really got to watch DuckTales on it. it's height. Quick, Duckworth, get the limo! I shall, uh, <clears throat> get out in gear, sir. Hurry, Duckworth, hurry! The pedal is to the metal, Mr. McDuck. Oh, not the Beagle Boys again. If they think they can stand between Scrooge McDuck and his three cubic acres of cash, they've got another thing coming. Yeah, the way the graphics are with the 3D background and the 2D sprite, it kind of reminds me of Paper Mario. Oh, I thought I was walking on the foreground. I'm a Scrooge! I'm a Scrooge up here! Oh, Huey! Are you all right, my boy? Yeah, but you better watch out! The Beagle Boys mess with your security system! Ooh, yeah! We take over the whole place. <laughs> yeah, me money. Hey, don't forget about me, Uncle Scrooge. Eh? Oh, 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 don't worry, lad. I'll save you. Hold B or X to do a pogo jump. Mama, be so proud. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Now that's what I call a stomachache. You were hit on the head, you moronic marauder. <coughs> Thanks, Uncle Scrooge. You're welcome, lad. But Huey, what are you doing here? Well, we saw the Beagle Boys going into the money bin. We? Oui? Sure. Louie and Dewey are here, too. You better hurry, Uncle Scrooge. They might be in trouble. All right, out to the rescue. Jump, jump. Why does some of the gems just appear after I walk by them? Hmm, I must get your money pit gem. Going up? Not going up. Can they just pogo bounce the whole way through? No. I cannot. No, like, I never watched DuckTales, but as a kid we did have the VHS copy of... Mickey Christmas Carol that had Scrooge's first appearance. Get away from him, you gluttonous goon! Sorry, Scroogey. Not a chance. Mm. <laughs> away he goes. You saved me, Uncle Scrooge! I did. Are you hurt, lad? Now, I'm fine. But I saw Louie heading up the stairs with about a Stay here. I'll handle this. 
This outfit's really blue. Really lightish blue. Oh, what? Oh no, the gem! Delicious gem! Uh, I want to check that spot there. Getting a lot of Mega Man vibes from this. Just the way the level layout is. Look at that still got it. I think I just pick up. Hurry up, Scrooge! They're headed for your office! Hold on, lad. I'll have you free in a jiffy. Not so fast, big dog. We're running things around here now. Cuss me, too. One false move and I'm a roast duck. Please be a Scrooge! It's not worth it! That's one thing I remember looking up about DuckTales now and just... Uh, like Scrooge and that. Never beat us, Scrooge. Very like back in the old days, like Mickey Wally hey, used to. When I get the gold, I'm gonna buy Ma a new hat. I say Mickey, like sure he was the flagship character for this game, but Donald pretty much had was pretty much more popular than Mickey back in the Ow. early days. Like, just look at the duck first, like, do you know, all the comics done I got? A fat lot of good that will do us if they make it to me vault. Right. Step away from me, fortune, you crook. This time, McDuck. Oh, you ain't getting the drop on this big old boy. Your safe is securely suspended, son. Damn it. I don't care if I got no lives left. Say, is the tree hits and he's out or what? That is a very good question. Hey. Jubin unlocks. Curse you, mutt duck! This ain't the last you'll see of me! Yeah. Good riddance to bad beagles, I say. Now, why in the world was he interested in this old painting? Surely there are more valuable... Well, pluck me pin feathers. It looks like some kind of secret code. Boys, boys! What did you find, Uncle Scrooge? Yeah, what is it? I'm not sure, but I know how to find it out. I'll feed it into my supercomputer and use Gyro's new crypto analysis program. Then we'll know what the Beagle Boys were after. <laughs> Stand back, lads. That's a big computer. Brigadoon! What is it, Uncle Scrooge? It's a treasure map, lads. And no ordinary treasure by the look of things. Only Uncle Scrooge would call any kind of treasure ordinary. Look! One of the treasures is in the middle of the Amazon. And there's another one in Transylvania. And one buried ten miles underground. Hey, wait a minute. Something screwy. This last treasure can't be right. Yeah, there's no mountain on Earth that's that high. Well, a 
according to the Junior Woodchuck's guidebook. To get there, we'd have to take about 537 million steps straight up till we reach the moon. You mean the moon moon? It looks that way, lads. <laughs> well, what are we waiting for? That treasure's not going to discover itself. Right then. Let's try the moon first. Get it out of the way. It's a long way to the moon, lads. But the green cheese of longevity will make it worth the trip. Up, up, and away! <laughs> right, off we go. Surprise launch pad isn't driving. Mr. McDuck, mm, I've never been to the moon before. Well, when it comes to space cadets, Fenton, you're a natural. <laughs> now, Gyro, why in blazes are we chewing this awful blue muck? <laughs> why, that's Oxy Chew, Mr. McDuck. It's my latest invention, oxygen flavored taffy. Five good chews, and you can breathe on the lunar surface without a spacesuit. Oh, and it tastes great, too. That gyro is a matter of opinion. <laughs> now, which way to the green cheese? What do you mean? Isn't it all around us? Yeah? How do you figure? Everybody knows the whole moon's made of green cheese. Well, that's what my dear mama said. And did it take a feather brain like you to believe her? Ugh, sometimes I don't know what I'm gonna... Wait, what's that? Look, here's someone who can give us directions. Hello? Ah, Mr. McDuck! Help! Well, he's gone. Oh no! We've got to save him! Do we really? We do if you want to find that treasure of yours, Mr. McDuck. Fenton was carrying the Gizmo Duck suit. That's the only thing we've got powerful enough to break into the moon vault. All right, fine. Stay here and guard the supplies while I look for that bumbling bookkeeper. Oh! Oh, I never got hit by that. There's a map? I thought this would be a linear stall deal. Ice cream. Oh, it's health. Uh, what? Why, that looks like the same spaceship that took off with Fenton. Seems to be landing. Well, <laughs> I guess this means I'm invited on board. Why did the robot ducks go down? I'm definitely not going that way. Up I go. Ugh, my arms are getting tired. That's the wrong way to go. Oh, hey, I can just do that. Alright, there we go. Boing, boing. Why didn't I get rich by being foolish? That reminds me of Shovel Knights. I guess this is where Shovel Knight got some inspiration from, but like the. Attacks. Nice. 
I guess the spaceship has whatever we need in it. Damn it. Wow, what a spawn. Did the original game have a map? That spawn sucks. Seriously, you didn't let me grab onto the rope. Wait, can we jump into the money pit? else good comes out of this, at least we dove into the money pit. Alright, let's try the moon again. Alright, let's try this again. Super mode away. Oh, there's another chain above. I never noticed that the first time around. Onward and upward. Blast me, bagpipes! A piece of Gizmo Duck suit. Oh, if only I had a way to open this door. Money. Are you? <laughs> Fenton, get down from there and stop embarrassing yourself. Mr. McDuck! Thank goodness you're here! I think those aliens wanted to suck out my brain and make an army of Fenton clones! Bah, they'd soon learn that one of you is one too many. Now, help me find a security override so we can get to your gizmo duck suit. You mean this? Security system disengaged. Fenton, you're a genius! Gee, Mr. McDuck, do you mean it? Oops. Warning. Damage report. Artificial gravity system is offline. Fenton, you're a nincompoop. You broke the gravity controls. Not to worry. I'll have it fixed in a jiffy. I got a level 3 certificate of technology from Happy Ducky University, you know. Oh, no you don't. You'll probably slam into the self-destruct button, too. I'll get us out of this. Wait, what that do? Gravity system restored. All systems normal. Nice work, Mr. McDuck. Now, let's go get my Gizmo Duck suit. Not so fast, Dunderhead. You go wait with Gyro. I'll find a Gizmo Duck suit myself. All right, let's go find the suit. Part of the suit. It's Gizmo Duck's helmet. Oh, 
If I didn't know better, I'd swear Fenton actually gets smarter when he wears this thing. Uh, maybe I'm a wee bit too hard on the lad. Now, only two more parts to find, and we can break into that moon bolt. Up I go. Okay, let's see what's up this way. No, oh, birthday cake is like a big piece of health. I found Gizmo Duck's armored suit. It's a good thing Gyro rigged up this hyperspace pocket for me to carry things around in. Now, just one more part to find, and I can get off this flying monstrosity. Mm. Just listening to Duck, so you can tell. Duck, Scrooge's actor. You can hear the age in his voice. Always an adventurer. <clears throat> this came out in 2013, so that was 10 years ago. When did Scrooge's actor pass away? Alan Young was his name. Yeah, he died in 2016, so it's only three years later he passed away. I was just playing Bird by Sleep the other day and he, he was heard of it. His voice is different than that. No point in hanging around here. Ugh, my arms are getting tired. No point in hanging around here. Yeah, Bird by Sleep came out in 2010. Ooh. His voice sounded a lot better, healthier than that. Did I already go this way? No. Oh, never mind. There is cake. But the sad need more health. It's on the left side. What's she doing here? Mrs. Bigley, what are you doing here? Someone has to make sure you get your daily nutrients, Mr. McDuck. Marvelous job, as usual, Mrs. Beakley. I'll see myself out, Mr. McDuck. Don't you worry about a thing. Oh, 
healthy appetites. I guess you only count to beat them all at once. Hey, on one way up. Money for me, money bin. Hey, we have to get more ducks. Wheel. I've always wondered what Gyro was thinking when he designed this thing. Who fights crime with a unicycle? Now that I've got all three parts, I can head back to Fenton and Gyro. <laughs> I hope it's not too late. Nope. I thought if I jumped down, I might reach the bottom. My arms are getting tired. How dare you! Oh, no, you don't. Hold! There we go. Delicious treasure. Ow. Ah, oh, that was a big ruby there. We're in luck. I managed to find all of Gizmo Duck's suit. <laughs> oh boy! Now we could blast into the treasure vault! Just a moment, Fenton. <clears throat> Gyro, I, uh. I think I left my favorite two-dollar bill under the back seat. <laughs> Would you mind getting it for me? Sure thing, Mr. McDuck. Gee, boss, why'd you send Gyro back onto the ship? So he doesn't find out you're Gizmo Duck when you put on that suit, you dunderhead. But there are only three of us here, sir. Won't he figure it out anyway when Gizmo Duck appears and I've mysteriously vanished? I wouldn't worry about that. Gyro may be a brilliant inventor, but his deductive reasoning skills are about as good as yours. Oh! Hey! Would you just get on with it? Say your secret code word and activate that confounded contraption. Code word? Gee, I can't remember it. Oh, blather and blather, Skite, I'm useless. I mean, I'm useful to the extreme. Point me toward the offending blockade, so that I might deal justice upon it! Cut the dramatics, would you, and follow me. Mr. McDuck? Fenton? Gizmo Duck? Huh. They're gone. And all I could find was this two million dollar bill. Oh well, back under the seat it goes. Right, let's go. Uh, and I can keep stealing all my kills. <laughs> Whoopsie doodle. Onward and upward. Smashed. I hope a gizmo falls near us. This is the place. 
Gyro's calculations said that green cheese of longevity lies just beyond this door. Step aside, citizen, whilst I blast the door asunder. How was that, Mr. Mc... I mean, oh, the path is clear, good sir. Good work, Gizmoduck. No. So where did Beagle Boys come from? Ah, Flint Hat Glumgold. What are you doing here, you pernicious pilferer? Why, same as you, Scroogey. Trying to corner a new segment of the dairy market. <laughs> Why, you... How did you find out about the green cheese? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> but thanks for saving me the trouble of blasting through that door on my own. I'll stop him, Mr. McDuck! Halt, evildoer! No, Gizmo Duck. I need you to help me deal with the... Uh... Beagle Boys. Bah! No, oh, yeah, go that way. Spooky cave we go. He's kidding me. I'm hoping for some health. Hidden treasure. Hey, right, I'll get good. That's good. It here first. No, not the cheese. Anything but that. Well, that's a good sign. Great Scott! I thought that stuff was supposed to be an anti-aging culture, not an instant growth fungus. Yeah, that. Why is this door late? Oh. Mm. For a quick look, that would be good. We'd have to go to all through the levels again. It is a fun game. I might give it a good look over again fully down the line. But with that, we are done. Yeah. Remember, like, subscribe.